Now, there's a possibility, according to the Natural Oil and Gas Suppliers Association, hinting of an increase in the price of diesel in the country. The national president of Nogasar, Bennett Corey, said, if you go around now, you will see that about 75% of filling stations in Nigeria have gone out of business and there is no diesel to take fuel to their stations. All of them are going down. It is not that fuel is not there, but the cost of bringing it to the station is too high. We know that crisis between Ukraine and Russia has contributed badly, but the government has to do something fast. Otherwise, we're going to buy diesel in the next two weeks at 1,000 to 1,500 naira per liter. As far as I'm concerned, nothing for now. The only way out is, if you want to know, is that the government should increase the price of fuel a little to reduce the money spent on the PMS subsidy. I know Nigerians will not be happy to hear this, but this is the only solution. They should increase the price of fuel a little so that the savings will enable the Central Bank of Nigeria to have enough foreign exchange. According to Korea, if the government could bring down the rate at which it's spending foreign exchange on PMS import, it would help all the businessmen who import diesel to bring in products at low prices. We do have uh, Chief John Kekiocha, Ipman National Secretary, joining us this morning. Let's go to have you join us uh, and be part of the conversation. Thank you, I'm with you. All right, Chief John uh, Kekiocha, can you quickly tell us what the, exactly the situation is with diesel right now in Nigeria? The situation is just very pathetic. It is just a reflection of our planlessness in the Nigerian uh, economy industry. This actually has that clamor for Nigerians to ensure that uh, the refineries are working. And because the refineries are not working, we don't have any option that they put products. And business has to do, do with the dynamics of demand and supply. Because of the ukraine Russian crisis, it has affected globally the petroleum industry. But for countries that do production in their, in their, in their areas, this dynamic does not play much. But because we are dependent on importation, even when we have refineries that are not working, we don't have any, anything other than to face the crisis, as it is. Absolutely all of us are aware that the Naira has lost much value. And of course, if we are going to import this, we have to import it, import it at the international market. And this has to do with the cost of dollar this has been Naira, which all of us are aware that is very, very abysmal. Uh, 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 so we don't have any choice because this is the situation we have created for ourselves. Mm. If we had, if had our, this, our refineries working, the crisis in the Ukraine-Russian uh, problem wouldn't have affected us. And all of us know that the diesel has been deregulated. By deregulation, it means you have right to get your diesel at anywhere you can and sell at any price. But because we are not producing, we don't have any option that we import. And definitely, we must stretch the music as it is. Yes, it is strongly believed that in the short time, diesel will get up to 1,000 or more. But do we have any choice? We don't have any choice because we didn't plan ourselves properly awaiting this crisis period. So we don't have any option that we take it head long. We said God says us the Ukraine Russian war comes to an end and you know the situation is normalized. But however, the end point is that Nigerians must wake up and ensure that our refineries are working. The Ukraine Russian war has come, it will possibly come and go. Another issue might arise. But, but equally affect the same, and we'll come back to the same situation. So the best bet is our refineries must work. That's the situation.
also like you to, you know, further explain if the situation that we have at hand, instead of having businessmen, I mean, those who are importing diesel, because we know that there's no subsidy for diesel, and this, this, this persons who are importing this product, asking that the government should subsidize it, because you understand at the end of it, uh, you would have uh, the masses paying seriously for the brunt of it. So could it also be the concern of some business persons who are thinking that, hey, government should bear the brunt because if you look at it the cost of this is also a global concern and it's not just limited to nigeria as well so why do you have the marketers in the middle of this um like the marketers have done, don't have much to do importation of products at this time especially it has to do with diesel and uh, recognizing the fact that has been deregulated, anybody can import this into the country. So it's not about, about the market. Yes, it, it is not easy for the government to still go ahead to subsidize business. Because as we speak, fuel is being subsidized. Nobody talks about kerosene. Nobody talks about the aviation fuel. Nobody talks about some other ancillary products that come out from the finance. We are called clamoring because of this, because most of the industries and, the, and companies that use this, a lot of them are folding up. So the situation, the best bet of this country is you must wake up and do the ritual. Marketers don't have much to do because there is only sort of a this will come from the government. So that's the situation. A situation where many filling stations are closed up. If you buy diesel and run your station for a day, what you make is not commensurate with, with the cost of running the station. That's when we talk about the price Many stations are closed because they cannot run their system because of the cost of diesel. It is a, it is a, it is a, a chain reaction, and it will continue to go like that. Okay. So it's not a marketer's problem. It's, uh, it's a consequence of planlessness. It, it, it's it's not a marketer's problem, uh, but are you also saying that it's not also a, con a concern that you know that diesel should be subsidized? It's, it's not that. That's what marketers are asking for. Away from that, you also have the uh, Natural Oil and Gas Suppliers Association's president saying that the only way to solve this issue of not having to buy diesel at the price that it's been put out between 1,000 naira to 1,500 naira per liter is that the government should increase the price of uh, fuel per liter. That would help. How does this solve the problem? Uh, it does not in any way help the situation. It is not in any way going to help the situation. Increasing the price of fuel goes further to increase the pains of Nigerians and increase the pains of those companies and the industries that use this equally. Everything boils down to increasing the debt the financial predicament of the country. We are supposed to do the initial, and the value chains are becoming very bad. That is why when we said we should be deregulated, the regulation cannot function if the refineries are not working. If the refineries are working, making their production, individuals can equally import. Based on dynamics of demand and supply, Products can, price, product prices can come down. But the situation where you go and deregulate and you don't produce, definitely you must set this kind of prices. It's inevitable. No, but, but I, I mean, let's even go further with this uh, argument. You, you, you have the president, like I've mentioned, he's saying that um, the increase in the price of fuel, a little, uh, would also help in enabling the Central Bank of Nigeria have enough foreign exchange because the issue right now is a foreign exchange concern. And so if the government increases the pump price uh, of petrol 
I mean, there's an increase in fuel price a bit. It would help in savings of foreign exchange for the central bank. It would also make it easy uh, for products to actually come in. So uh, you're saying that it, that doesn't solve the problem, it would cause more hardship. I'm wondering why uh, there's no unison because, you know, the, uh, uh, the Natural Oil and Gas Supplier Association president is thinking differently and you are also thinking differently. So uh, how, how do we help us understand the situation better? When you say you should increase the, the price of fuel in order to assuage the pain of importation of business, it's still one and ten times the same, the same situation. If you increase the price of fuel, you are making the people to suffer more. Absolutely, Nigeria depends on fuel for its movement. Nigeria depends on fuel for the household usage. If you go and increase the price of fuel, you have to further increase the pain of Nigerians 80%. Even at the price of buying fuel, that people are shouting. Go and increase the price of fuel further. You are Cutting for crisis. Yes, we accept the fact that the digital is cost is too high. But we still check the percentage of materials that the non availability of digital is affected. Absolutely, the number of people affected by the high cost of fuel is quite very high. Go and increase it further, and you see that the economy is crashing. Is crash. And the suffering of the people will be free. We must do the needful. We must ensure that we look inward and see how our refinery will work. That is the best way to implement the problem. But, 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 do you think, but do you think that, you know, having our refineries functional up until now, and we're talking about how long have we uh, gained independence and we don't really have a refinery that's able to help us refine our products, we're still uh, exporting and having to import. So, I mean, how can that be? We're, we're talking about in the next two weeks that people would have to buy this product. A lot of businesses are very dependent uh, apart from, you know, the filling stations themselves, you have this businesses, several businesses are dependent on diesel. And so how much or how, uh, how, how much of this diesel can this, um, you know, businesses afford and how long can that continue, you know, to sustain this product, buying this product at this rate, looking at all of that. I mean, it's going to be a, a catastrophe. But the, the, the concern here that um, has been raised uh, is that, Foreign exchange is the problem. Foreign earning is the problem. And that's why uh, the proposition is saying that government could bring down the rate at which it spends foreign exchange or is spending on foreign exchange on PMS imports. If it would do that, it would help all the businessmen import diesel to bring its product at a lower price. So, so that's why I brought the question to the fact that is it that businessmen are not willing to take you know, the brunt of how the economy is turning down and then they're pushing it back to the government, you know, to push it back to the citizens and then the people would suffer. But, so uh, uh, that's on the one hand. On the other hand, do you think that foreign earnings, uh, foreign exchange is also a problem right now? Absolutely. So which of them? The, the, absolutely, the, 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 the foreign exchange is quite very high. Our Nigeria is losing value every day. What can we do? It is just the, the, the economy was not well planned. Our dependence on oil has been very high. Oil becomes one of the primary source of income of this country. And therefore, if anything affects oil, they affect the economy negatively. You understand? So if we if we don't look inward and see how we can make our economy improve vis-a-vis -vis the dynamics of the international economy, this situation will always reoccur. So what can be done, you know, to reverse this situation right now? There is no immediate 
there is no, no, no fire brigade approach to solving this problem. There is no fire brigade approach to solving this problem. Because in this kind of solution are something we would have expected long before now. But we have seen it before our nose. So definitely Nigerians are facing it. That is why when we want to look at the government, we must look at government that has focus, that knows what it takes to harness the economy, think inward, and know how to ensure that immediate crisis like this does not arise. But if we don't plan well, we will always have this kind of crisis. That's all right. Well, uh, uh, thank you so much, Chief John Kikiocha, for being part of the breakfast this morning and sharing your thoughts yeah. and, and giving more insight to the possibility and the issues surrounding diesel scarcity and the increase in its price. Thank you so much. We wish you the very best you. as you go about the course of thank your you. day. Thank you very much. All right, so Chief John Kukocha is the Ibman National Secretary. Uh, once again, thank you. That's the size of our conversation this morning on The Breakfast. If you missed out on any part of it, it will be all right to be part of the conversation via Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel with Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Boko. The news comes up at 9 o'clock. Stay with us. <laughs>